Warning, this content may be disturbing to some audiences. Subscribe. If you dare. When they served us tea, we were sure it would be drugged. Hey everybody, welcome to, an Actost. People ask Reddit. Has any Redditor been kidnapped? If yes, what is your story? Number 1. Commenter, almost, thankfully. I was 7 at the time, we were at the boardwalk in New Jersey when I got separated from my family. While I was looking for them, an older man came up and said my mom told him to come get me. Thankfully, there was a family of four walking by us at the time. My mom always taught me to if I was lost to find a family with children, because they're the most trustworthy option when you're lost in public as compared to an individual adult. I ran over and yelled mom and I hugged her. I think her husband figured out what was going on and yelled at the guy and he ran off. Dad put me on his shoulders and his two teenage kids went down the boardwalk yelling that they had found me. Five minutes later, one of the kids got a hold of my mom and reunited us. One of the scariest things I've ever been through. Person B. I am so impressed that at that age you were able to stay calm and remember what you were taught. Good for you. Number 2. Commenter. My old teammate got kinda kidnapped. Nicest guy you'll ever meet. Told me a story about when he got kidnapped. Mind you he was a 190 pounds college athlete at the time. Essentially he got car jacked and shoved in his own trunk. But the perpetrators just wanted to use his car for a joyride. So after a night of speeding, smoking blunts in his car, and doing whatever else, they got pulled over by the police. He said the looks on the cops was something else thinking they were coming up on a routine traffic stop only to find the driver owner was in the trunk of the car. Person B, the same thing happened to my sister. She was in a parking lot in the back of a video store when two guys came from behind her with a shotgun. They forced her into the trunk of her car, and used a machete to punch a hole for her to breathe through. They needed the car to commit a robbery and didn't want it reported stolen. In the end they drove it around for three hours, meeting people but never robbed anything. They took her cell phone and called me with her location before leaving the car in a mall parking lot across town. Number 3. Commenter. We took our kids to the Port Discovery Children's Museum in Baltimore, and of course we all checked in together and got matching bands, etc. Our daughter was very young and at some point removed her band and discarded it. They made us show them pictures on our phones of us and our kids together before they would let us leave with her. I am definitely grateful for organizations that enforce that level of security. Person B. I've heard of people saying you should always take a pic of your kid before you go somewhere with them to help identify them if they go missing. I always wondered if it actually made a difference, I guess it really can. When I have kids, I think I'm gonna want them to wear weird bright yellow crap now. Number 4. When I was around 7 to 8 years old, my mom took me to a karate lesson for the first time. The dojo was in a strip mall. The lesson ended and as I was leaving the room, for whatever reason I was the last one out, a man approached me asking if I enjoyed the lesson. I told him I did and asked if he was a friend of my mom. He was dressed normally, not an instructor, and didn't have a kid with him, so I was confused as to his interest in me. He told me he was not a friend of my mom's, but that he and I would be friends. He put his arm around my shoulder and started walking towards the front door. As we approached the exit, I saw my mom chatting with the instructor in his office through the small window on the door. The office was right next to the exit and the handle within reaching distance. I quickly reached for the door handle, turned, and pushed. The man left my side and walked out the front door before the door to the office fully swung open. I walked in and the instructor slash my mom started asking about the lesson, if I enjoyed it, etc. As we talked, I asked about the man. Neither the instructor or my mom seemed to know who I was talking about and shrugged it off. After we left, I told my mom it wasn't for me and never went back. It wasn't until a decade later when I finally grasped the possibility of the situation. Number 5. I was in Turkey for a while in my early 20s with two friends. We had made quite a few friends in the coffee shops. They were mostly Kurdish and I was pretty oblivious to the racial tension there. One day walking through the market, five men walked up to us. The four beefiest surrounded us while the fifth told us we were invited to tea at his place and to come. He was all smiles but the beefy dudes and general posture of them all made it clear what the score was. We were escorted back to a shop with a few more scary guys and the patriarch of the family. The doors were closed and bolted, and the window shades drawn down. For the next five hours we were guests. 
it started mostly outwardly polite and utterly terrifying with polite veiled threats. When they served us tea, we were sure it would be drugged, but couldn't refuse and escalate the situation. It culminated with them trying to hand the three of us swords, while the rest of them stood around us with swords in hand smiling and talking about how some of them had been in the family for generations and been used to take the heads off of Western Europeans in the Crusades, BS I'm sure, but the point was taken. I was absolutely sure if we took the swords they offered, we'd be cut down and they'd have plausible deniability and could claim we attacked them or tried to rob the place. We remained calm and kept declining the swords politely as they got angrier and angrier. They finally let us go with a warning to mind who we associated with because sometimes people disappear. Scariest 5 hours of my life and I have no idea how it ended well for us. Number 6. Not me but my roommate at the time. We lived in Johannesburg, and studied at the local university. One day I'm at class and he is at home. He steps outside to get something from his car, it's a typical SA block of flats with tall walls and a motorized steel gate. Some guy climbs over the gate, runs up to him and throws him inside the house, demands he gets the house keys and drags him outside to his car that was waiting on the street. He then takes my friend on a trip around Johannesburg, collecting debts owed to him, can only imagine he is a drug dealer. After a good six hours of driving around, my friend is now scared shitless, the guy takes him home, drives into the driveway, strolls into the house and locks him in his room while he casually takes a shower. He comes back out and steals everything from my friend, clothes and all. Makes himself a sandwich and leaves like nothing happened. My friend is still traumatized and this happened around 5 years ago. Lesson to learn, always keep your house locked, even if you have fancy security, electric fences and all that jazz. Sometimes this country amazes me. Number 7. Commenter. I was kidnapped when I was younger, but I didn't realize it at the time. My uncle and my aunt were going through a divorce, and he was staying at our house with my cousin. One day he said we were going on a trip. I was young, and I loved going on trips, so I didn't think anything of it. He took us from Connecticut to Minnesota, and we stayed there for a few days. What I didn't know was he was about to lose custody of my cousin, so he took us and ran. I think he also took me just because I was there and he didn't want to leave me home alone. He was arrested shortly afterwards and sadly he killed himself in jail. Person B. How old were you? Was he a nice uncle? Commenter. I was 8 or 9 at the time. He was a great uncle. He was an outdoors kind of guy, so we would all go on hikes and go fishing or things like that. He never did anything in front of me to think he was a bad guy, but I did find out later on that he had issues with hard drugs and alcohol. Number 8. Commenter. Almost kidnapped in CA when I was 5. My cousins and I were playing in the front yard and two guys drove up. The passenger said hey kids, wanna go for a ride? As he talked the driver got out and approached us. All I remember now is the mix of confusion and fear and don't talk to strangers. Luckily my dad walked out to see what was going on and they took off. There were reports of two men in an 80s model suburban that apparently kidnapped a 12 year old girl down the street. That last part was something my mom always told me. But she also had a knack for lying to scare me straight into the arms of Jesus. So. Who knows? Person B. I was a similar age playing in my front yard and a guy drove up and said. Hey, do you know where the McDonald's is around here? If you show me where I'll get you an ice cream cone. And I was super excited so I said, yeah I know where it is. Let me go ask my dad. And started to head inside and the guy drove off immediately. I was sad because I thought he had pulled a prank on me. Didn't tell my dad. It wasn't until years later that I realized what was up. Number 9. I was almost kidnapped once. I was visiting the mall with some others and left alone to go to the bathroom, which was down a long isolated hallway. When I came out of the women's bathroom, a dirty old man rushed out of the men's and pinned me up against the wall. There was an emergency exit at the end of the hallway, and he was dragging me toward it when another dude came out of the bathroom. He was big and bald and looked like a biker, complete with a vest. He yelled hey! And the old man dropped me and ran. I was 15 at the time. Number 10. When I was like 5, I was playing in front of my grandma's house. I guess a man just scooped me up and put me on his back and started running. My grandma somehow quickly realized what's happening and all the kids started screaming. So she started the run after him and as he was getting further every woman from each house came out with their flip-flop in their hands. 
The guy gets scared and drops me off and runs off. Now I didn't understand what was happening. I just have the memory of being on someone's back and that person running. I remember all the women one by one coming out, imagine tightly put small row houses, including my grandma. Number 11. When I was like 10, a friend's mother abandoned me in another state while she kidnapped her own children. I was spending the weekend at a friend's house. The friend's mother had a manic episode and decided to leave her husband and move in with her recently deceased sister's widower. He lived in Vermont, we lived in Georgia. She packed us into the minivan at 5 a.m. and took off. Her two oldest children, 13 and 15 got pretty upset so she left the three of us with an aunt in Pennsylvania. It was pretty terrifying for my parents. Number 12. Was almost kidnapped when I was about two and a half. Went on a family vacation to Germany, quite a bold move with a two-year-old in my opinion. My mom told me we were at a train station waiting and she noticed a man obviously pretending to have a heart attack. My mom leaned over to warn my aunt that she knew he was faking it as a distraction and to watch her purse. While she did that though, a lady walked by and just picked me up. My mom grabbed me back and the lady tried to tell her it was okay and was trying to take me back, but obviously my mom kept telling her no. We found out later that this was relatively common at the train station as it was easy for them to grab a kid, jump on a train, and quickly be in a different country. Number 13. My friend was almost kidnapped once. She had found some people online she wanted to meet. After much debate I agreed to go with her to meet them in a park. Since I had a bad feeling I brought my dog with me just as a little security measure. They gave my friend alcohol but didn't drink themselves. After hanging out with them for a while I decided it was time to go. We started walking towards one way and they walked towards the opposite way to their friend who had come in a van to pick them up. They call out for my friend to come and meet their friend. Drunk and stupid as she was she hurries over there and the driver grabs her arm and tries to pull her into the car. She is resisting so he drops his grip on her and she falls back on the ground. It happened very fast and I was far away from them. So I took off the leash from my dog and took hold on the collar and got him all excited. My dog is growling and pulling against them by now and I scream that I will send the dog on them if they don't stop. They open the back of the van and try to grab her again. Then I let my dog loose. My scary looking dog ran growling at full speed against them and then they let her go and jumped in the car and drove away. She was lucky that I brought my kind of unstable dog that day. Make sure to share your personal story in the comments below and have the opportunity to be featured in a future video. Also, if you like these topics don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to continue seeing more content like this every day. See you next time.